okay welcome back to my youtube channel uh, this is video number five in gender prediction using machine learning uh, just to remind you of what we covered in your previous tutorial in our previous tutorial we learned how to make feature selection and extraction where by we used the county vectorizer as our feature extractor so in this video we are going to learn how to train test how to train test split and a training algorithm so i'm going to start with the meaning of train test split train test split means that dividing data set into two groups first group for training algorithm and the second group for testing algorithm uh, we need why we need to train test split we need to train test split so as when we train in order to have two data two group of data because after training our algorithm we need to import it we need to give testing so as we can measure its accuracy so if we we just if we, we could have only single group of data set means that training set we could not be able to determine the accuracy or the performance of our algorithm so we need both two groups train data set and the test data set that's the meaning and this is how to do train test is pretty x train x train then there is x testing x testing y train and the y testing is equal to is equal to train test is print train test is print this way so here we are going to pass x features and y features then we need to specify the test size test size should be 30 percentage which is equal to 0 0.3 then random state random state is equal to 42 now the meaning of random state means uh, the train test split function will randomly split this data into two groups of first group for training and the second group for testing but we need to import uh, this function from sk len from sk len dot model selection model selection import train test split so that's it so oh invalid syntax what's wrong what's wrong import import yeah that way so far we have divided your data set into two groups first group for training algorithm and the second group for testing so now we are going to do the last part of our tutorial which is a training algorithm or fitting the model i'm going to use knives by algorithm uh, to to fit or to train data let me say yeah fit the model fit the model so before I kill on, let me import knives by from SK from SK Lenny dot knife 
underscore bias import Gaussian Gaussian NB something like this so I'm going to use Gaussian NB but also you can use multi multinomial multinomial NB so you can choose among these two knives by you can use it Gaussian naive by or multinomial naive by. So classification is equal to, as I have said that I'm going to use naive by. So classification is equal to Gaussian NB copy bracket. Then classification dot fit this is the actual point where we fit the model x train then y underscore train so here we have fit or we are we we are fitting the model by importing x train and the y train so here let's 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 check the score where we we input x x test and the y test. Let's run this cell and see what's happened. Oh, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? To array a sparse matrix is required to array to convert numpy let me see okay let me learn all cell from the beginning okay learn this cell yes Land cell. Oops, still there is a problem. What's wrong? Let me try to use the multinomial. Nice by. And let's see. Oh, okay. Now, <coughs> after using multinomial, nice by, it works fine. So, let's cancel the usage or the using of gaussian naive by so after using multinomial naive by we have accuracy of 70 percentage which is considerable as is satisfactory in skln matrix point of view so thus is how we we can train uh, the we can train a logarithm using data. We have fitted the model. We have we have splitted our data set into two groups. First group for training and the second group for testing. And uh, the last part of our video was fitting the model. So I hope this is end of uh our fifth video of gender prediction in machine learning to put just a short summary of what you have covered in this video i've covered the meaning of train test split which is dividing data into train and test set and i told you why we need uh, to split our data into train and test group it is because you want to to make to, to 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 train a system using our logarithm then to preserve a small portion of data set for testing in order to check the accuracy or the metrics the performance of a logarithm then after we came in our last part of our video which was fitting the model fitting the model is just training the logarithm so we train a logarithm so as it can 
why we train a logarithm we train a logarithm so that mm, to make a machine work or act like human being and thus is artificial intelligence uh, thanks for watching do not uh, mix in our next video whereby we will uh, determine the accuracy of our logarithm we will check the performance of our logarithm thanks for watching do not forget to like put comment and subscribe for next video updates goodbye